We gotta hurry. Okay, we done? We done? I've been wanting to say, I know how you feel, buddy. Okay, moving on. Hey everybody, it's Steve, and we just play games. This is Atomic Heart, and most recently we had to make it back to the home base exhibition, which of course meant ziplining over a locked gate and finding a giant gardening robot that fires missiles, you know, because nothing in this game is point A to point B. And just to solidify that point, we're about to head underground again to set off an EMP that may or may not cause a wall of magnets to fall on my head because the door is locked by a symbolic gesture. Repair mirror mechanism. Oh yeah, and we're gonna involve mirrors. What the fuck? Already! Already! Magnetic fields. The shocker recovers much faster in strong magnetic fields. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can just move that around. There's some sort of mirror up, up above ground that will, uh... Hold on. No? Yes. Gross. I don't want that to fall on my head. There's some mirrors above ground that are meant to shoot, I guess, sunlight into these things that are going to cause the... Oh, goody. They're going to cause the symbolic gesture. Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. You know, when I enrolled in this company, Manipulate Magnets wasn't on the dossier. Actually, for a little bit of background, my character doesn't remember any, doesn't remember anything past two years ago. I have a strong suspicion that he used to be a scientist who lost his memory in a polymer-related accident. What if I'm in here when I do that? Doesn't matter. There's got to be something good up there, though. Oh, yeah. Not, not the button I wanted. There we go. See that Kalash rounds thing? I'm thinking Kalash. It's a Kalashnikov, to be obvious. Like an AK-47. I, I think that was in the very first level. All right, let's not have this fall on my head. And we're good. And I just never got it. But I think because I pre-ordered the game, yeah, I'm one of those people. <laughs> because I pre-ordered the game, I get a, like a special Kalishnikov. Wow, that was really fast and really close. I just haven't downloaded it yet, I guess. Nothing's trying to kill me and there's the save point? Holy crap! Give it a those second. Oh, Jesus. Goddamn mustaches again. Yeah, I don't know what what's up with the mustache. They never really elaborated on that. What you staring at, you metal dipshit? We're good? We're good. Can I uh No? Damn. Are you learning how your hand works? Somehow that was scarier than you attacking me. They don't like being electrocuted. That one didn't even touch me. Hey, I disarmed him. Get it? This is locked. Do those golden gates open? They do not. I don't know why they, we need the color differentiation then. Opening doors with a step of my finger. No one trying to murder me. We're good. There's a puzzle on the ground. Maybe I'll open the golden doors. You okay, buddy? Got nothing for me? Okay. 
I call that Kirbying, because you just suck up everything that's there. Skiver. Oh, What's the button. point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. At least he's accepted the the inevitability of science. I'm still having a hard time with it, to be honest. Okay, we know that blue needs to stay up there. And this one only causes them to come out at a 45 degree angle. So, blue. There we go. Science! That did not work on the Golden Gates, though. Not like we have a lot of travel around it. Ooh, an enemy. Let's wake him up! What you gonna do, brother? Right, laser faces. Forgot about that part. I didn't know all of them had that ability. <laughs> He's just resting next to his buddy now. Oh, and that one's sneaking along. He's gonna scare ya. Okay, that is something important. It's got a slight blue haze to it. It's something we can investigate. I need a way down. That'll do. But now you're in the way. Come on, man. But you gotta realize that these things aren't robots. They're dummies. Someone set them up that way. And that is blood. Okay, slight blue haze over here. Here we go. Magnets. What's your deal, bud? Oh, you're still alive. We had hats. Kinda. We had suits. We had boots. We didn't have a plane. Uh, what are you talking about? My partner and I used to service the magnets here. And each day we worried we'd not get grounded if we got careless. Wore rubber-treated pants, swallowed pills, put tinfoil under the hard hat, Anything to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field. But it was the robots that killed you. Nah, come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons of body armor. You see, the problem wasn't robots. It was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. Also, the last vehicle I drove, I crashed. And set on fire. Aren't the rest of them supposed to come back down? Guess we're starting here. Hmm. Beam me up! Think I can time it? Yeah! Damn it! Ow! I didn't think twice. Okay. We're all right. Hope this doesn't crush me. 
We're not crushed, yay! Don't fall off, thank you. I bet I can scurry along that. No, let's not waste time on that. Aim for the booty. <laughs> Made it, but this door is not locked. Is, is what? another door without a lock? Damn it! Uh, where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. That's because it's on the ceiling. Damn it! It's on the ceiling. I, I don't have a plan for this. Secret? No secret. I can fall here, right? Yeah, I can. Not climbing, though. Perfect. Alright, follow the relay. That's where we want to go. Follow the wire to there. I think. But that's blue. Let's go for the blue. Locked. And the, the weird smile we face on there. Looks like there's a room just like this on the other side. No climbing? Climb! Climb! Damn it! Oh, we're going down. Interesting. Nope. Move. There we go. It just leads right back. Oh, there's a puzzle here. Interesting. Nice. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826. And by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone. Including the government. So we got someone trying to hide a secret versus someone whose last name is Molotov. As in the cocktail. Fading data. It had to mean something before about the explosive, you know, guerrilla warfare thing. Or urban guerrilla warfare, however you want to phrase it. It's it's deadly. Mm -hmm. What in the hell? <laughs> no bad guys. My detective vision senses no bad guys. Oh, I saw these circles and thought, let's search it. I've been programmed. Can I read this? Don't open the lid until the machine comes to a full stop. Oh, that guy lost a limb. 
Not going in there. That's where we want to... Didn't I come out of there? <laughs> you're, you're skydiving. Big room full of nothing. Oh no, I came from over here. Yep, there's the door. Okay. I gotta get over there now. We can jump and dash. There we go. You got no advice for me? Just admiring the view? Or do you have one of those mustaches? Okay, he's not a robot. We're good. I am going to get crushed at some point. I can feel it. Oh, boy. Hey, we're not dead. Interesting. I don't have any health to come back with, but we're not dead. Not the way up. Oh, we're starting over there. If I can get out. There we go. Wait, there's two separate zones here. How am I just noticing that now? Oh, crap. Oh, we're good. What was that? What the hell was that? All right, what was my end game here? Do I land there? Oh no, we're going down. We don't want down, we want up. Son of a bitch, okay. Okay, we made it. Okay, remember there's two zones. I can make that. Okay, we need blue to go up? Yeah, if we get to that blue, we can get to this blue, and then it's just a hop, a skip, and a jump away. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy, and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. I think that's a quote. That's, a, that's like a psychiatrist quote. Data. That looked like a retainer. And robots! No robots. Just two buddies having a good time. I like how we're thinking this through with our glove. Okay, we want it all to be blue. means we need to get rid of you all the way.
What the hell? Oh, there's only one source for blue. I see. So... If you stay down there... And you are also blue, you'll be the top- you'll make the top blue as well. But we also need to make the bottom blue. So... Boom, bottom blue! No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's gotta make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's gotta take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's gonna be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Okay, we done? We done? I've been wanting to say, I know how you feel, buddy. Okay, moving on. I love how we're just sounding this hit with my robot friend. I can make this jump. <clears throat> Up we go. There's still a wall in my way. Get rid of the wall. <clears throat> Interesting. Have you? Oh no. Oh no, we're not dead! Yay! It was that it wasn't that low. Can you imagine this thing just ripping out your fillings? Heart! We're okay. Uh Oh, hello. There's an item in here. I'm not searching that. Okay, that's where we don't go. We gotta get on the other side of this. I'm not gonna reach it from there, because that one's slightly closer. Okay, let's try this again. Don't, don't bounce off. There we go. Oh no, oh no, you son of a bitch! 
Uh. Oh, good lord. Yeah, let's just go right across. Okay. That's better. No no rail in the way. I meant to stay on top of that part. Yeah, that's too close. That is too damn close. Okay. And we're here. And we're good. Who built this place? Uh-oh. And what were you two doing? Practicing CPR, I hope. There's a lot of stuff. Ooh. Hashtet. It's a sword. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <laughs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I probably reached Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. I did I I did not expect to get that down in one move. That was That was not genius on my part. Oh boy. Hey, it's that mirror thing we were talking about. Have you infiltrated the DDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> I just solved a puzzle in one move. That was pretty intellectual. Alright, we're 27 meters away from our goal. I gotta find one of those uh, fridge robots. Nora is her name. She's a bit of a pervert. Oh, this is actually in English. Thank you, Igor Golovin. Thank you, Comrade Golovin. Not a door. It is a door, just not behaving like a door. Oh, jeez. Uh. How you doing, buddy? Eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk. The backstabbing machine that killed me. You killed him? It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. You bastard! Wow, you guys can take a beating. Oh, that was mad. I'm gonna die. It's getting smarter. There we go. That wasn't bad. I should have been killing those things all along. Stronger than your average android. No mustache either. Oh, 
what now? An eternity looking up. I already killed it, buddy. You're good. You're good. Nope. Normally, I do read everything. Yeah, the goal is that way, so we're gonna go this way. I like how it kind of just jumped along like a jewelvy little elf, too. I don't know why I have this in a tunnel. That's better. Dead bodies all over the place. Welcome to Atomic Heart. What the hell? And there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Why are we getting an arm? Why do we need an arm? What's beeping? Oh, it's a cartoon. But well, we just found out that the uh, robots have some very good items. The waiters. Hey, can I have the arm? Oh, wait, wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. I think we skipped something. Why do we need an arm? Ow! Hey! Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. Hey, how about we do something that won't use power? Like running the hell away! Good lord, why'd I freeze there? What? You can shoot stuff? You can imagine he doesn't like it very much. There we go. I like how they cause a war of Borealis when they die, too. There we go. And there you are, living a fate worse than death. Give me the item. Give me the item. Damn it. I have a chair! Should have thrown out the robot and said, take a seat. Super thorough. I'm assuming we'll find out what that whole arm thing was about soon. Probably to get through a door, right? I want to say biometrics, but it looked like a robot arm. That was seamless. Get out of here, Mickey Mouse. Oh, damn. That's the way I came. Whoa, check out those balls. This chandelier reminds me of a DNA double helix. I'd rather not know what it reminds you of, Major. What? You think I don't know what DNA looks like? I've no doubt about the depth of your learning. First an atom, then a DNA double helix. You sure they're only making robots here? It kind of looks like we're making a new human race or something. In a certain sense, we are. Neuropolymers could never have existed without genetic engineering, nor could collective. I don't know the code of this one. It's gonna be on a piece of paper somewhere. Hey! Safe zone! Fading data. Hello, Nora. I need to make a sword. Please select the desired procedure. Damn it! I need 36 more pieces of metal. Oh my god, I can make these! I didn't know I could make these!
I just had to cycle the out. Ah, oh, come on, man. Alcohol. Nice. Can I put something there? How do I equip the neural thing? Consumables. Where's my consumables? I don't have room for them? Oh, no, they're right here. My bad. I have them now. Like a vending machine. Okay, this is the thing I don't have the answer to yet. Yeah, okay. Wait, I wanted like a sword. No, I don't have enough money for this. I don't have enough metal for the sword. I don't think money's really a thing anymore. Uh-oh. Hi. Yeah, I don't need a hug right now. Can can you tell me... I don't know. Okay. You got nothing to tell me. I need a code. Doubt the code's on this computer, but I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give it a quick look. Just dudes. Just dudes. Okay. Oh, How we can just work? walk right in. Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. I'm armed. See what I did there? Poke. Got the whole world. In my hands, it's a metaphor. Got the whole wide world. In my hands. Now what? Now we get attacked. Oh, hi there. I would like Thank a room for the for night. coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Denied. Greetings, comrades. Oh, God. And welcome to the... Pipe down. I need a note with a code on it. You got one of them kicking around? Oh, head out. Purple. I haven't seen purple. A whole ass radio. I just grabbed the radio. How the... How? Not better, but all right. Okay, explain, and then we'll go another radio. I want the other radio. No, one radio is enough. Okay, explain. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror. Or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you. And may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. 
And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. Which one of these pictures what is the a bicycle? Fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. Okay, I think I've already got the radio. Symbol of the motherland and sprout of the motherland. Are they all in this room? I don't understand, is this the art? Also, <laughs> the surrounded gruesomeness. Like, whatever she just said earlier, that was just like... The perfect way to say, fuck it, we ball. I am not emotionally developed enough to handle this. Just gonna ignore it. Okay, next time. Symbol and Sprout. Thanks for watching. What's up, Nora? Access granted.